Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Modern Warfare 2 search and destroy sniping gameplay commentary. No, it is not a full gameplay yet. Uh, I'm still getting back in the groove and literally I, I hopped on Modern Warfare 2 today or as of this recording today uh, with my good friend Candy and we jumped in some search and I ran into this guy and after this game I was like, you know what? Let's go back to Black Ops uh, because I believe... I ran into a modder, modded controller. Now, I've done some research and watched uh, some other videos of some supposedly modded FAL gameplay from Modern Warfare 2 with a modded controller, and it looks very similar to what this guy was doing. Coming up here, I'm going to shut up, and uh, and you guys can listen to the how, how many bullets he was spewing out of his FAL. You'll get to hear it a few times throughout this, and I want to expand that to a larger point later on, uh, but coming up here, I'm going to get this uh, this quick scope on the guy who missed me twice sitting in warehouse, and, uh, and I should have had him. I should have had this guy coming down from the stairs, but I didn't. Now, let's take a listen. Sounded like a like an automatic weapon. Now here again, Candy plants the bomb. You'll hear him shooting at her. Let's take a listen. Good job, that is Get the FAL. The that is the FAL. Keep that in mind. God, I cannot believe they let you dual, dual UMPs. That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, was was that a mod? Did I find a guy with a modded controller? I have no idea. I mean, these kids on YouTube also claim that they have modded controllers, but maybe they're just spamming the right trigger. I have no idea. But it looks like he was using a modded controller. Now, I'm not ranting. Okay, you want to... The game's, the game's done. Whatever. It, you know, if you want to do that, fine. You know, I look down upon it, and, and you're just a cheater in my mind, and, you know, okay, whatever. But... I want to I want to ask you guys a question, and coming up here again, you'll get get one more little uh, little sneak peek or, or little review of of his damage output abilities. I don't know, but anyway, I wanted to ask you guys real quick, and let me know in the comments: Are RPM limiters? A good idea. We've seen them in Black Ops with guns like the FAL, the M14, uh, the semi-automatic sniper rifles, not the pistols, uh, but but the high damage output weapons. We've seen RPM limiters on them, and that has led to some frustration sometimes. Uh, but I think given this now, honestly, obviously, I know that that it is still possible to mod a controller to get past the RPM limiters on Call of Duty Black Ops. It is definitely still possible. And you can do the same thing with the Spaz uh, shotgun in Black Ops. But in general, I want to expand this point to in general, do RPM limiters or are they a good good idea? I think they are because you just cannot allow Guys, you just got a three feed by proxy with a silenced FAL. Maybe he's just really good, or I think he's using a mod. But I don't think you can allow in a game players to output that much damage that quickly. W which you would allow them to do uh, on some level without an RPM limiter. Which is why I say I think an RPM limiter is a good idea. Uh, maybe, maybe I think it's 650 for the M14 and a little higher for the FNFAL and Black Ops. Uh, but I think in, for something like Modern Warfare 3, I think a, 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 a rev limiter is a, is a good idea. So let me know in the comments what you think. And that's my time. I got to get out of here. I'm going to do my best to try to give you a full Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. I'm going to return to it. And here, this, this should not be able to happen. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm going to do my best. Probably going to go back to Modern Warfare 2 for a bit in the lead up to Modern Warfare 3 just to get back in the swing of things and play on sniping that isn't utterly and completely broken. But anyway, go ahead and click on the link in the description. You'll be transported to my previous video and click on the annotation on the screen in front of you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I am out.